friends, you laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to a game called A Normal Lost Phone. If you remember the game Sarah is Missing that I played, where you went through somebody's phone to figure out what actually happened to Sarah, this is a game like that. We're going through somebody's phone, but it's, I don't think it's like a horror-y kind of thing like Sarah is Missing, even though I didn't know that that was a horror game at the time, and that I had like one of the biggest jump scares that I've ever gotten playing a game, but this is just called A Normal Lost Phone. I don't know anything else beyond what I've just said, so... Let's start clicking shit. Can I change music? We're playing the cocoon. Okay, next song. I could fuck, I could fuck with this. Okay, gallery. Oh, that's a nice picture. Look at you guys having fun. Okay, um, I need something without singing. Can I just have music? Can I turn on the volume a bit? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, nice. This is nice and calming. That's a cool picture. I don't really know what it is. Looks like katana scabbards. I don't know if you're taking pictures of, like, paintings, or if that's just how real life looks. Hey, it's Numa Numa guy! <laughs> my, <laughs> my, yahoo! <laughs> that's cool. Hey, it's Lucio. Nice. Okay, you're still kind of loud. I want to be able to talk. Sorry, guys. This fucking full calculator. Two plus two equal. Okay, calculator works properly. Checks out. Um, I'm going through all the miscellaneous ones. Oh, we've no Wi-Fi. Can I connect? Melren, open Wi-Fi. My, my box. Not in range. Not in range. This is secured though. I don't have a fucking password for it. One, two, three, four. Wrong passer. Damn it! They got away from my hacker skills. Um, sound erase all data. Just erase all the data. <laughs> Game's over. Game's done. Um, okay, I can't do much here. Can I go into my messages? Oh. Okay. I have a new phone. Now you have my new number. Sam. Dad, why are you texting me from your bedroom? Dad. <laughs> Nobody fucking ends things like this. Okay, maybe dads do. <laughs> I just sent my new number to all my contacts. It wasn't just for you. Why are you replying to me from your bedroom? Nice one, dad. Are you kidding me? Me? Never! <laughs> Happy birthday, dad. Thank you, dad. <laughs> Sounds like he's calling her dad. Mom wants to know if Melissa will dine with us tonight. No, we've not been getting along recently. Be strong, son. Women are complicated sometimes. Your mother's still a complete mystery to me. Men can be compli complicated sometimes too. Dead on. You're a brave boy and Melissa's a good girl. She'll come back soon, trust me. Okay, so when were these sent? The 9th of the 1st. These are the 15th of the 1st, so it's been six days. I can't connect to my emails anymore. You'll have to help me when you're back. Are we gonna get the, the password for the Wi-Fi here? Mom would like to know if Melissa could send her the chocolate cake recipe she made for my birthday. Mom told me to remind you about your dentist appointment today. Did you get my message about the dentist? Why aren't you answering? I saw that. I was in class. Sorry. Your mom's made an appointment at the hairdresser for you. Could she make one for me? Please. I need to make one of my own. Um, and I hate that because I keep having to brush the fucking hair out of my face and it makes me look like I'm a... Oh, yeah, even though I hate people who do that that kind of way. I'm doing it for practicality There must be an appointment with the hairdresser for you at 10 a.m. Tomorrow dad What but I've already told you a million times and I don't want to get my hair cut dad. It's not a phase I love the bowl cut Just cuz the guy from Lost Profits has it. Oh, no, we can't talk about him anymore Cuz he's a dirty bastard pedophile fuck that guy make an effort. It'll make your mom happy. I'm picking up groceries for tomorrow's party. I wonder how many people will be there. Is Melissa planning on coming? She's not coming. How come? She seems to be the perfect girl for a guy like you. Mom and I thought she was very nice, polite, well-behaved, and pretty. Just what every man's looking for in a wife. I don't really want to talk about it. Maybe he's not looking for a wife. Maybe he's looking for a husband. Do you ever think about that, Dad? You never seem to pay much attention to girls in general. We thought you were really into Melissa. We thought you were good together. What happened? Stop! Maybe he's gay. Happy birthday, son. I'm so proud of the man you've become. We'll celebrate properly tonight and be prepared for a big party for your 18th. Thanks, Dad. Aw. 
That's nice. Where are you? Everyone's looking for you. Samuel, where are you? Where did you go? We're all really worried. Tell us everything is fine. Your mom wants to f call the police. Dad. Oh, please don't tell me this is gonna have a bad ending. I'm already formulating endings in my head, and I don't want it to be some of them, so I'm not gonna say it. Okay, let's go up. Who are we talking to now? Wait, I didn't see this. Sophie. Sophie Board Games. I know it's saying Sophie Board Games for a different reason, but I really hope your name is Sophie Board Games. Um, I didn't try calling anybody. This- this might not actually be Sam who has the phone right now. I could have found this. Same message. Are you still at the club? I think I forgot my umbrella. As you do. Classic Sophie. I left already, but Alice was staying longer. I'll ask her. She's got it already. Thank you. Cool, no problem. I thought it was weird that she didn't leave at the same time as you. I thought you always went home together. You've been inseparable recently. She's my best friend. That does not answer the question. Happy birthday, Sam. I hope the cake is great and you get lots of presents. Okay, so his birthday is the 31st of the 1st. Okay. Boom! Nice! Which one? Was it expensive? How could you get one from your old dad? Hope he got you a very cool one! I like this friend. Who is this friend? Um, Uncle Raymond. So you just type all in caps anyway because he just doesn't know any better. Oh, I thought he was cool. He was just doing it that way. No, it's so expensive. I don't need a great phone anyway. Plus, Xmas is around the corner and then my birthday, so he promised to make history with my gift then. I don't know what he's got in mind. Ha! Is he already dropping hints? I've got a slight idea! Ho, ho, ho! Your Uncle Raymond is Santa, Sam. But I won't say a word! All I can say it's not suitable for little girls! Ha! Happy 2016 from Ray! <laughs> hey, big boy! I get to see you this next weekend! Yeah! I like Raymond. Raymond's all about it. I'm just gonna assume that Raymond is talking this way. What's this the fucking names up here? I'm stupid. I'm just gonna assume that Raymond's doing this properly. That he just yells everything he does. Raymond's my kind of guy. Hi, Uncle Ray. Tio already told me. See you soon! Dumb Tio doesn't know Malrin's Wi-Fi password! We need internet! I just sent it to him. Okay, so we need to find Malrin. Aha! Thank you! We're almost there! Be a good boy and go tell your mom! You're 18! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Why are we still here? Party, 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 party! See you later! He sounds like Greg. Oh, I forgot. Kk, 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 kk! Uncle Raymond. That's my kind of guy. Is this going in real time? Well, not like real my time. It's 2 p.m. here. I, I want to see if it's actually going up. Uh, Salim. Is Melran even here? Fuck yeah! Okay, let's. Oh, this is the top. I missed part of today's English class. Can I copy your notes next Monday? Ah, uh, chance for a meme right here. It's like, can I copy your homework? Sure, but don't make it obvious. And it's the exact same thing. You know that meme? You all know that meme? Relatable. Sure, I owe you one. I'll make a copy for you today. No worries. Man, you're already 18. Not fair. Still 10 months to go for me. Happy birthday. What the fuck is this? Suck? No, thanks. Can you hear me? Well, we can sure hear Raymond, that's for sure. Uh, massages. Um, man, I do not miss the days of school, having to copy homework. It was always maths homework for me. Because English and stuff was all, like, subjective. I could write whatever I wanted. But maths was, like, the only thing with definitive answers. And I am terrible with numbers. Probably because I never nurtured it either. I never had an interest in them. And as soon as I hit that barrier, I never wanted to learn more about them. Which sucks, because I'm always impressed and highly respect people who are really good with numbers. So if you like numbers, embrace that. Numbers come in very handy. No one told me you might be interested in video games. Hmm. Oh, did he now? What gives away that? All the fact that I record video games all day, every day, and play them non-stop and have all the memorabilia? No. <laughs> what? He's the one who's interested? Who said I like video games? Fuck that guy! He is obsessed, lol. But he told me you talked about it the other day. And I wanted to ask you if you would like to try, maybe? Try what? Do you know what a game jam is? Miriam? I'm all about them ludum dares. Like playing games all together? Not sure. Almost. It's an event where people get together and try to develop a game prototype in a limited time. Is that what this was? Is that what this started off as? Maybe. 
it could just be a, a little Easter egg. But it's nice that there, that this is actually in the game because game jams are really cool. Some of the best games that I've played on the channel are from game jams. It's mostly just fun, creative, interesting, and you often get to meet cool people and learn new things. Sounds cool, but I really don't know what I can do there. Music! Noah said you were a great musician. Really? Are there also people making music there? Of course! Sound and music are super important. It's like a challenge to develop something in those conditions. It's mostly for the fun, really. But if it's good, who knows what will happen afterwards? And in any case, the experience and the new friends is the most valuable thing you will get from it. Oh, these emojis. It's weird how just an N underscore N can actually look like a face. Anyway, you can make us some cool music compositions for the harp. The hip, cool, new instrument. The harp. That'll get you all of the people that will love you. <laughs> to tell the truth, while I play the harp, I actually prefer composing for other instruments. Ha. Huh. Do what you want, man. So are you still coming? I don't know. Maybe I'll try. When is it? There are a bunch, but the best one is the last weekend of January. Will you join us? Please. But that Sunday is my birthday sad face. Ah! I didn't know. Yeah, sorry. Don't be. There'll be more. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for thinking of me. Sure. Musicians are always welcome. I didn't forget your birthday. Happy, happy birthday from the Game Jam. We're about to present our game. And I just didn't talk again. I'm worried about you, Sam. Where'd you go? Oh wait, that was the top. From Uncle Hugo. Happy New Year! I hope you had a great time last night. We had some fun with your dad and mom. Did they show you the photos? See you for your birthday, big boy. You see if we can keep calling him big boy. It's kind of weird. Thank you, Uncle Hugo. They're still sleeping. Glad to hear you had a good start to the new year. Happy birthday! I don't know if I can come. Always the same. Sorry. It's okay, Hugo. I'm not reading this top message because it's the same one every time. What did I miss in class? Not much, but she said we'll have an exam before the end of next month. What? God damn it, we had one last week. What a fucking bitch. Add in the fucking just for emphasis. Maybe maybe that was a bit too much, sorry. Happy birthday! A lot of people are wishing you a birthday, dude, and it's the last message they're all sending you, so what happened? Dear Sam, Diane, Elizabeth, Raphael, and I wish you a happy birthday. We hope you achieve all your goals in life and live happily ever after. Oh, Estelle, what a sweetheart. Fuck me, dude. Clear out your fucking messages and now and then. God, Sam, sorry, I know a couple. Sam from the music school or Sam from the lab? Sorry, the one from school. Okay, happy birthday. Look at that picture. That is a nice one, Leo. Leo accordion. Accordion to Leo, he plays the accordion. Well, he has an accordion in here. Chloe board games. Happy 18th, Sam. Okay, you're a long message. Is everything okay, Sam? Faster. Ah, because I'm using the thing. Using my brain. It's like WhatsApp when you need to get to the top of a message chain. Hi, Chloe. Yes, why? Just wondering, because you seemed upset the other day when you left after talking to Lola. And you weren't there today. Yeah, no worries. I'll be around at some point. If you don't want to stay long, at least bring some of your- or bring one of your mom's cakes. Half of the people there just go for the cake. It won't be the same without you there. Hey, hey! Is that all you care about? The cakes? Or is that hey, hey? Hey, hey, hey! Do a little fat Albert. I'm joking. Well, just a bit. I was worried about you too. I don't like Lola either. Just don't talk to her then. I usually don't anyway. Okay, hope to see you soon. Thanks for asking. Have a good day. Happy 18th, Sam. Happy birthday. When is your next concert? Ooh. I put on a little concerto every now and then. Hey, Fabrina. I had one in June and you missed it. Well, maybe if you actually wrote back to them. Oh, wait. This is the day after. Never mind. I know. I'm very sorry. I couldn't find a babysitter for the twins and they are still too young to stay alone. Why don't you just leave Gerald to look after them and come on your own? I would have done so gladly, but Gerald wasn't in Merlin that evening. Then you should have come with the twins. I'd love to see them again. So tell them what to do. Lol. You don't know what you're saying. They're so mischievous. Or mischievous. But you're invited to visit any time you like, of course. I will. And maybe I even I might even throw a private concert for the four of you. Now you're thinking. That would be awesome. Then you're invited for dinner too. I just hope to see you before you become too famous and we have to pay to see you play. Haha. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. Co
colon three. But seriously, let me know next time, please. I will. No worries. Thank you, and send hugs to, hugs to your mom and dad. Beautiful day to turn 18, huh? Have fun! I will, Fabrina. Fabrina Petrova. What a nice name. Hey, where have you been lately? Will you come by today? Hey, Tom. Not sure, but have fun anyway. My phone says it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. See you around. I know this is a lot of reading right now, but they, we're getting we're getting some backstory. We're getting some character development. We're trying to figure out what's actually going on. Have you found my cousin Tio is coming on Saturday to watch a race here? You're welcome to join us. We'll get pizza. My dude, I can't. I'm grounded the whole weekend. Too bad. You can borrow some games from me if you want. Let me know. Happy birthday! Fucking annoying. I'm missing your party. Make it a good one. David, Mr. Cool, love heart, sunglasses, green hair, motherfucker. I will. Noah's good. Look at all these fucking messages. What's a guy to do? God, I uh, fucking hell. I know I'm reading through some of them fairly fast and some of them are short, but Jesus. The talk about university today was cool, wasn't it? Yes. It helps us understand everything a bit better and help make it the big decision. I've already decided anyway. I want to study something cool. Video games! What about you? That's great. I'm not surprised. You're always talking about games. I have some friends who know a lot, of, uh, who know a lot and have done cool stuff. I'm jealous now. Like what? They're called Atelier 801, and they made this cool game called Transformice. Man, they're awesome. But what about you? You didn't look very convinced in the talk. I don't know yet. I'm undecided. You're a cool musician. Why not compose for some games? Maybe. Is this what this game is about? Is this an open casting call to compose for some games? <laughs> Lol. You don't sound very convinced either. It's a cool indu industry. Think about it. I will, I promise. Happy birthday, Mr. Boring Adult. Hey, leave me alone, man. I'm cool. I'm still hip. I still make memes. Just because I'm 18 and can drink? Well, depends on where this game actually takes place. You might not be able to drink. Sam, we will be away next weekend. Could you feed Ringo again? He really likes you. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. DuPont. No problem. I'll do it. I like him a lot, too. You'll find the food in the cupboard on the left and a little surprise for you. Don't tell your mom. Thank you very much, but it's really not necessary. It's my pleasure. Have a great start to the new year and lots of love from the three of us. Thank you, likewise. I wish you a very happy birthday, young man. This is from Mom. I've made you a chocolate cake for your book club. Mom. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. I've made apple pie for your board game club. I've got the world's best mom. I've made a lemon pie for your book club. You're awesome. They all love you. I've prepared banana bread for your board game club. Yum, my favorite. I've made a strawberry pie for your book club. Mom is the bomb. Mom is the bomb.com. That all rhymes because mom's awesome. Love mom. My friends will end up fat because of you, mom, but thanks. About the club, we're going to a book festival on the 19th. It's a bit far and we might need to eat on the train. I'd rather not eat those overpriced train sandwiches, cause so could you make something? I love you, mom. Of course, I'll pack meals for your trip. I'm happy to know you're making new friends. Thanks, mom. Is Melissa going with you too? No, no, she doesn't really like these things. Oh, pity, she's the perfect girl for you. She'll make you very happy, I'm sure. So I'm preparing packed lunches for your book festival tomorrow and a cake for your board game club on Sunday. What kind of cake do you want? Mom. No cakes for Sunday. I think it's time to stop going to the board game club. Oh, I thought you liked it. Less and less. Besides, they didn't appreciate your cakes enough. He's hiding something. You can tell even in just the texts. It's nice that he's so close to his mom though. And he, it's cool that you got some of that character development between his dad. With his dad, it's a bit more awkward. And he doesn't really talk to him as much. Whereas the mom, she was just saying that she made stuff and he was like writing back really nice things and saying that he loved her and everything, so. And the dad, it was like, come on dad, not okay. Mom, don't worry, but I missed the last train home. I'll stay at the book festival one more day. A friend of mine is letting me stay. Okay, as long as you're home for your dad's birthday, mom. Don't forget to wish your dad a happy birthday. Uncle Hugo invited us to celebrate New Year's Eve at his place. Oh, pity, I've already made plans to be with Melissa. I'm sure he would love to meet your girlfriend. You can invite her. She'll be back from her holidays and probably tired. It's not a good idea. As you wish, but Dad and me are definitely going. Let Hugo know if you change your mind. Sure. So, do I bake a cake for your book club or do they not like them anymore? They love your cakes, but they take a break in January. 
You're not bringing cakes for Melissa now, are you? She's good, but not as good as me. Oh, mom. No, I'm not bringing anything for Melissa. Happy birthday to my lovely son. What is happening? Did we get any messages from Melissa? BB school. Who's in your group project for uh, group for science project? Emad, Sujin, and Nina. Sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Yours? Sounds good. I'm with Huli, Simon, and Dario. Any idea what you're going to do? We're still thinking, but maybe something about ecology and the environment. Us too. Something about massive extinction <laughs> of animals. Nice. My first thought was about the bees disappearing, but then Simon came up with a brilliant idea. The other day, we watched this documentary about how intensive animal farming affects global warming, and it looks like a big thing not many people talk about. How come? I don't see any connection. Well, the amount of water, for example, to produce meat or dairy products is huge. Then these animals produce a lot of greenhouse gases, and the corn to feed them also needs a lot of water and chemicals. But it takes a lot of space, so they cut down forests too. Oh, wow. I never thought about it that way. That's the thing, as well. Global warming, everyone just see it as the temperature rising, but they don't actually realize what goes into causing that. They don't know what actually forces the environment into those types of states. So, it's fascinating. There's a lot in it. I've already started cutting back on the amount of meat and fish I eat. Good for you. That's going to be an awesome project. You're lucky to have Simon as part of the team. Thank you. Good luck on your project. Happy birthday. Something clearly must have happened. Oh, here's Melissa. Is this me? Oh, that's not good. There were some messages there saying, don't ever talk to me again. God, why is my camera so blue? Fucking white balance always messes up. Sorry. Just think of me as underwater. <laughs> cool. Saved. Are you coming on Sunday? Alice said you might not come. Why not? You have to come. No, seriously, you have to come. Hey, are you there? Don't ignore me. Hi, Hugo. Sorry, I was busy. Yeah, like Alice said, I'm probably not coming. Well, why not? You can't miss it. Miss what? Did Alice not tell you? Tell me what? She's great. I actually asked her not to tell you anything, but then she said you might not come, and I thought she would have told you, but I see she hasn't. Oh my god, tell me what? Now you have to come if you want to know. And ask Alice. But really, I'm pretty sure I won't come. Sorry. We need you! I wanted to bring the game I've been designing with my brother. Well, still a prototype, but it's ready and we want to test it. And I'm counting on you. We need as many people as possible. And you love to try new games. Alice says she's in, come on. I don't know, Hugo, I'm sorry, but I think I can't come. Maybe next time. The game is perfect. There won't be a next time. Next time you'll have to buy it and play. Haha, <laughs> if it is good, I'll buy it for sure. Yeah, you can bring me your copy, and I sign it for you. Good luck on Sunday, I hope they like it. They love it. He didn't wish you a happy birthday. Sammy, I can't contact Melissa, it's urgent. She's at her grandma's, but probably busy. She's moving out after her grandfather died. Oh. Ah, thanks. You happen to have Melrin's Wi-Fi password? I haven't tried to log in since switching phones, so it may have changed, but last I heard, it was Melrin's zip code. Okay, Melrin zip code. We'll have to look into that. Hey, can you get me the notes from last week's math class? Sure, no problem. Now I'm thinking about it. Rachel, is it just me or do you only talk to me when you need something? Oh, shit. After rereading my latest messages, I admit I was pushing it. I'm really sorry. Thanks for not telling me to get lost and for always being there when I needed you. You're an awesome friend and I'm real sorry. Ah, well, but be more tactful next time. I promise. That was a, a nice exchange. Okay, this is the one. This is the one. This is Melissa. Yeah, this is gonna be a long one. I have a new number, news number sound. Oh, finally. Meet right in front of the cinema this evening? Okay. I just found this in my bag. Did it come from you by any chance? That's nice. What a cute couple. Yes, I slipped it into your bag at the theater yesterday when you went to the bathroom. Why? Did I miss an important date yesterday? Like our first kiss or something? Not at all. I just wanted to make you happy. Oh, Melissa. Oh, you didn't have to. How sweet of you. Did you draw it? Yeah, but I based it on the picture we took during the holidays. Oh, yeah, I see that. Speaking of, I lost that picture when I switched phones. Send it to me. S or send it to me? Question. I took it with my camera, so I've got it on the PC. I'll send it to you by email. Thanks. The truth is that I like your drawing more than the picture. You draw so well. Are you sure you won't want to try art school next year? 
everybody! That's nice of you, but I swear, other than portraits, I can't do much, and I really want to go to a vet school. When are the results of the entrance exam again? December 23rd, but that's just the first step- Okay, you're kind of annoying. I want to get rid of you. Uh, go to a vet school. Now, here we go. December 23rd, but that's just the first step toward admission. There are other written and oral tests afterwards. I'm stressing so hard right now. Right before you go on vacation, at least you'll be able to take your mind off it if you don't get in. I see you believe in me. Sorry. I'm sure you'll make it. I believe in you. I love you. Me too. Oh. Wait, when was this? The 5th. So this is just the day after. Rachel tried to call me five times this morning. I didn't have the nerve to answer her today. Do you know what she wants? I don't know, but she sent me a message too, asking how she can get a hold of you. I let her know today's not a good day. Thanks. I'll get back to making up boxes. Let me know what she wants. Just a password for the Melrun Wi-Fi. LOL. How was the move? Not too exhausted? So much. I don't know how my grandmother collected so many things. She's old. She's had time to collect a lot of things. Don't make fun of my grandma. How was your day? Not bad. What did you do? Went out and played board games. With who? Thomas Ann Martin. Wasn't Alice there? Yes. So why do you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. Why didn't you tell me from the start that Alice was there? Are you hiding something from me? Exactly. You get jealous every time I mention Alice. I told you a thousand times Alice is just a friend. But she's- she's my best friend. I don't want to stop seeing her. You really need to stop trying to talk me out of it. Sorry, I'm stupid. I just need reassurance sometimes, you know. I never known- I've never known men slash women friendships before you and Alice. And that Alice. Ooh. You're my only one. Aww. Now, I'm sure I'd be jealous if you introduced her to me one day. Okay. I'm sure it'll happen soon enough. Yeah, but why not right now? Because it's already 10 p.m. You're right, I'm off to bed then. Sleep well, my gummy bear. Good night, Melissa cutie. Okay, we can do a bit of work on the nicknames, but yeah, that that's not good signs if somebody gets jealous of you just hanging out with somebody of the opposite gender. Especially if it's your best friend. Because they need to know that. If you need constant reassurance about that stuff and you're constantly getting jealous, that's- that's some deep-rooted shit that's not really gonna go away. Um, without some, like, work. So... I don't know, that's dangerous territory. Jealousy in a relationship is always a really bad thing. Only ten days! You're even more excited than I am. You know it's just a movie. You mean the most awaited movie in the history of the galaxy? Can you imagine if it's lame? No, it's gonna be great! Hey, I've just thought, your cousin Tio, is he gonna be at your dad's party? No, why? Yeah, he makes me uncomfortable. I feel like he's trying to undress me with his eyes every time he looks at me. Now we have to go back and read Tio's message. It's true, he is a bit strange like that. But don't worry, he's not gonna be there. Tomorrow is the big day! Shall we meet in front of the theater? Yep, I'm coming in cosplay. Ah, oh, you'll embarrass me. I don't care. Good for you, Melissa. <laughs> I forgot my math textbook in my locker. Are you still at school? Could you get it for me and bring it tonight? Sure, I'll get it. Did you change your locker's password? You put Alice's birthday, didn't you? What? No, not at all. It's still your birthday. It's just first the month and then the day. I got it. Thanks. See you tonight. Yeah, this is... This is not nice messaging that constant like accusatory type of tone and constantly like if your mind constantly goes there that's stuff that needs to be talked about aired out it's not just something that you can keep going because i've been there in relationships granted naive young types of relationships with not a lot of maturity to them so i don't know i guess you're coming up to 18 so yeah but that that type of stuff is warning signs that stuff that you can't just be like, you put it as Alice's birthday and then just talk naturally after it. That's that stuff that needs to be aired out. Thanks for coming- although maybe he's just sick of talking about that kind of stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of discussion to be had about that stuff, but jealousy is not good. Thanks for coming to my dad's birthday tonight. Your cake was so good. Lol, you're welcome, my pleasure. Your dad ate three servings. Can you send me the photo of my dad blowing out the candles? The one I took on my cell was awful, so I deleted it. I hope your camera worked better than my phone. It's to send to my grandma. 
I'll transfer the photos from my SD card tomorrow and send you what I've got. It's a shame she couldn't make it. Yeah, I'm sad she couldn't get out anymore. I'm sad she can't get out anymore. I just thought of it. Do you think she'll want the photos of you at your concert too? Oh yeah! You reminded me. She's been asking for them for the last six months. I'm such a terrible grandson. I'll send them to you tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> I saw Helen today. She told me what happened with Sebastian. I figured I'd tell you about it because she said you'd already w talked it over. The whole thing just sucks. Why didn't you tell me yesterday? Yeah, it's seriously not cool. I didn't want to tell you before Helen did to respect her privacy. But believe me, I wanted to tell you badly. It made me so mad. Okay, I get it. It's actually kind of cool that you don't share other people's secrets. She also told me that it was you who convinced her to come talk to me. Well, well done. I really think I found the right words to help her. I didn't doubt for a single second that you would provide excellent support. Which gets me thinking. To convince her, did you tell her about you know what? No, I don't share other people's secrets like you said. Thanks. No problem. I got my results. I can't bring myself to open them. Oh? Come on! Waiting to change the results since- Waiting won't change the results inside the envelope. You're right. Well, I'm opening. Well? Negative. Oh no. You want me to come see you? I just want to, have to curl up into a ball and cry by myself right now. I don't want to leave you alone at a time like this. I'm taking a shower and coming. No, seriously, don't come. Truth is, I don't even have the time to curl up into a ball. Between stress over the results and the talk with Helen, I haven't had time to pack for tomorrow, and I really need to take care of it. Okay, but if you need to talk, call me. I'll call you before going to bed. See ya. I'm at the- wait, when was this? The 23rd. I'm at the airport thinking of you. We'll see each other for New Year's Eve. Enjoy your holidays. Happy Christmas to my big gummy bear. Happy Christmas to the most beautiful girl. You guys, you're melting my heart right now. I can't wait for tomorrow. I miss you. This holiday week felt like months without seeing you. I bet you even saw that Alice. No, I didn't see her. I couldn't think of anything but you this whole week. Can't wait for tomorrow. See, he's being super nice and he's constantly reassuring you. But if you're constantly like stabbing at that jealousy bundle, then it's not good. It's exhausting to try and deal with people like that. I have a big surprise tonight. Something to really celebrate the new year. You don't want to know what it is? Sending you a photo clue. Should I be looking at this? I feel like I'm prying at some people's privacy. Oh. I'm sorry, but I'm not coming. I know you were looking forward to tonight, but it's time to admit things. We're at very different points in our lives, and we don't want the same things anymore. We're not the teens we were before. I realize how horrible it is to tell you this way, but I'm too much of a coward to say things face to face. I hope you still enjoy your evening and find joy in 2016. Sam! And this was half five, and this was 7.45. That fucking sucks. Wait, you're kidding, right? Are you dumping me? What the hell? Everything was fine until now. Did something happen during the holiday? You can't leave me, we love each other. Nothing happened during the holiday, I just don't feel the same way I did before. Wait, you can't just break everything between us on an impulse. Come to my place and we'll talk about it. No, I've made up my mind and I want to spend the evening alone, sorry. Fuck you! I know it seems really stupid to tell you everything right now, but I'm really sorry for everything that happened. You're awesome and you deserve better than an asshole like me. I'm really sorry I made you suffer that much. Tell me what I can do to help you get better. Just ask. You know I'd move mountains for you. Oh, that's the worst. Not only are you dumping her over text, which is a douchebag coward move, um, but I, I get the the like the feelings behind not being able to do it in person because that's a hard thing to do and I myself have things with confrontation but even I have the fucking morality and the decency to do things like this the the big decisions not breakups but stuff that means a lot and needs to be talked face to face um so to dump her by text and then to suddenly be like I'm dumping you but if anything you need just come talk to me because nobody wants to hear that what I want is you. You're the one- you are and you've always been the only person I wanted in my life. Anything but that. If I can do anything else to apologize or help you get better, just say it. 
I don't ever want to hear from you again. Please don't write to me. Don't come to me at school. Stay away. You're toxic, Sam. You're the worst thing that happened to me. That fucking sucks. Wait, let's go talk to Tio. Oh. My mom said we'll go on Saturday to visit you guys. Can we watch the race there? She said she'll buy us some pizza. Which race? Are you fucking kidding me? The World Championship! Not a big fan of that kind of thing. Don't you watch the news? You spend too much time playing the harp and hanging out with girls, dude. Come feel the engine's power and smell the gas. Wait! I didn't even put two and two together from before. The dad was talking about Melissa being perfect. And I, well, maybe not putting two and two together, but the way it seems, maybe Sam's gay and doesn't want to be with Melissa because he's not into girls. Oh. Maybe we'll find that out at the end. You stare at the motorcycles. I eat the pizza. You can't while you are busy playing harp. See you then. Hey, I wanted to ask you about your brother. Eric? I hardly remember anything. He left before when I was a kid and my parents never talked about him. They felt betrayed. I hardly remember him either, but he was always nice to me. Why betrayed? They- why are we suddenly talking about him? What is in time? They were really great parents and he still ran away like a selfish jerk. I asked once and my mother said he was sort of brainwashed and joined a cult of some kind. Yes, that's it. The bastard abandoned the family and don't exist for him anymore. And we don't exist for him anymore. This morning I found an invite to his wedding in the mailbox. I was shocked. That's why I wanted to ask you. The hell are you talking about? Have you not seen it? No! And I don't want to see it. I don't give a shit. Don't you think that's strange? God, I'm full of hiccups. He's inviting us to his wedding. It's not like he doesn't care about us. He left. That's all I care. Sorry, Tio. I don't want to upset you, but please check the card for me. Something doesn't fit. I don't even know if we got one. Maybe he only sent it to you. I'll have to check. Hey, I found it yesterday in the waste paper basket in my dad's studio, ready to go in the shredder. Did you get it? No, I left it there, of course. Dad was just coming home. I'm dead if he catches me looking around in there. But did you at least read it? It doesn't exactly look like some cult ritual. I understand what you mean. No, it doesn't. Can we talk about it during the weekend, when you're here? It's late and I want to sleep. Sure, see you then. Maybe the brother is gay as well, and the dad couldn't accept it. I'm, I'm sensing a theme. We're in Melrin! Stuck in traffic. What's the password for the public Wi-Fi? Why does everyone want to know it? And why is nobody just saying it? Why not just say the actual password? Haven't tried yet on this new phone, but I guess it hasn't changed. It's Melrin's zip code. Easy. Makes sense. Thank you! See you soon. Sam, can you call me? No, not enough credit for phone calls. Everything okay? No, I got in touch with Eric. What? How? After we talked about last weekend, I checked again and the invitation was still there, so I wrote down the contact details. And? Is it what we thought? Can you call me? No, min minutes left until next month. No minutes left until next month. But using the landline here is risky. My parents are home. Shit. My parents too. Can we talk tomorrow? I'm meeting my friend Alice. She's got a flat rate plan so I can use her cell. But is everything okay? Just call me tomorrow whenever you can. Is that the friend of yours I met once? The one who plays harp too? No, that's Victoria. I'll call you in the afternoon. Can I call with you now? Yes. There's something going on. I wonder if I have messages from Eric. I have a new phone. Uh, happy belated new year. Do you know where... Do you know if we're going to the museum next week? I lost my schedule. We're going in two weeks. Really looking forward to it. Cool. Me too, man. Last time was awesome. I found the talk about college quite useful. I'm seriously considering biology as an option. That would suit you perfectly. I know. I always liked biology. I get good grades without much effort. Would you stay in Melrin? I don't know, but at least one semester abroad would be awesome. The world should get to know you. That could be dangerous for the world. <laughs> uh, here's Alice. Nice. God, there's a lot of fucking messages. Why do some of these have these on them? I wasn't actually paying attention to that. Do we have any messages from Eric? I wonder. No, doesn't seem so. Ooh, long messages. Thanks for letting me know. Welcome back to the 21st century. Oh my god, good thing you left early. Big drama went down afterwards. Shit! Lola told you everything? Now we're figuring out the, the drama. Lola? No idea what you're talking about. It's Anne who lost her shit. What's the deal with Lola? 
Nothing. Something personal about her. I really shouldn't talk about it. What happened with Anne? So last week, she came to me and told me Thomas had a crush on me. He's not really my type, so today, I went to say him to him nothing could happen between us. Ooh, that's quite a front of you. Did he take it well? We're getting all the goss, yo. He, did, he didn't take the news badly at all. Because, guess what? He had no idea what I was talking about. He actually confessed that he's been seeing Anne for the past three weeks. Dude, what? Why did Anne tell you he had a crush on you then? I talked to her right after. It seems she was convinced I wanted to steal her boyfriend and he was interested. And it was her way of testing his loyalty. Oh, douchebag move. What a twat. I hate lying and conniving people. Of course, I hate liars too. Me three. But seriously, who does something like this? She's completely out of her mind. Then again, my girlfriend Melissa is almost as jealous, so maybe she'd do something that bad. Ooh. You have a girlfriend? I didn't know. <coughs> yeah, uh, sorry, I never told you about her. That's cool. I'm just a bit surprised. I don't know why. I always thought you'd be more into guys. I think I like both. I don't know yet. And to keep the and keep this to yourself. So not not just straight gay, um <laughs> ironic straight gay. Um but bisexual. Yeah, promise. Wait, 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 let's let's go back to this for a second. So he was already having doubts here, and that's the 13th of the 12th. And I think he broke up with her like two months later or something, I can't remember the dates. But yeah, lying and conniving people, and manipulating people. Can't fucking stand them. Why weren't you here today? I couldn't, I'm sorry. Will you be coming back in January? I don't know, I'm a bit annoyed with Lola about something. I don't care about Lola, I like it when you're there, come play with me. <laughs> thanks, but I don't think I'll come to play again. We'll keep hanging out together elsewhere, won't we? But who's gonna teach me the game rules now? Your instructions were always the best. But okay, I understand. And yes, we'll keep in touch, promise. Here, as an apology, a pic from the latest Tonio show. I know you're a fan. That's a badass picture. What? You've been to a Tonio show? Now I'm jealous. Oh wait, that's not him. That's the someone from Tonio. Silly. Merry Christmas, Alice. Happy New Year, Alice. Hey, how come you're not replying? Alice, why aren't you texting back? Oh, this is Alice. Wait, we're going to Mrs. Dubois. Let's go back to the gallery. So this is me and Alice, I'm guessing? Maybe I took the picture and this is somebody else. Okay. Ah, shit, not gallery again. Messages. A lot of messages to go through. Ah, uh, Miss Dubois. Dear Sam, your grandma showed us the photo from your last concert. We really liked it. Hello. It was take- it was just taken by a good photographer, but thank you. No, you've grown up a lot and look wonderful. Vlad is very proud of you. He gets nostalgic when he sees someone with a harp. I didn't know he played the harp too. Oh no, he didn't. He's played many instruments, but not the harp. But it probably is his favorite. That's why he never touched one and always held harpists in such high regard. Still, the sound brings him sweet memories. Your dad told us you're very talented, so now you're going to have to play for Vlad next time. I'll practice hard to impress him. Looking forward to it. Dear Sam, Vlad and I wish you a very happy new year surrounded by the people you love. Hope to see you next June. That's a lovely message. Hooli. Hooli Wang. Wish you a great 2016 and lots of fun tonight. Thanks. Hope you had a great night. Enjoy the rest of your holidays. So these are short messages. Hey Sam, happy new year. I hope everything goes great with you. Say hi to your parents from me. Sebastian, another big name player. Are you coming to the Christmas party tomorrow? I'm going with Helen. Hey Sebastian, sorry for the late reply. I totally forgot. Guess you could tell I didn't go. I spent the day at a book festival instead. Hope you had a great time. Yeah, it was okay. Just okay? Sorry if of Helen, if Helen didn't feel well at some point. Oh, sort of, Helen. Oh, Lane. I know you guys were looking forward to going together. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, but things went wrong and she wasn't feeling well. Yep, you said that already, but she was feeling sick? Food poisoning? That bitch left in the middle of the party. Whoa. What? Sorry, that's not a very nice way to talk about your girlfriend. Yeah, Sam has some morals. Can you fucking believe it? 
She's not my girlfriend, we're just dating on and off, she said. Well, calm down. Do you want to tell me what happened or just shut up? She's a cock tease, that's what happens. She's been dropping hints for weeks, making comments, getting me fucking horny. She was saying how special the night was going to be and how much fun we were going to have and... That doesn't mean anything. Well, what, do you, what would you expect? After midnight, we were dancing at the party and she was constantly rubbing her body against me. She was dressed for sex and almost dry humping. Dressed for sex? Who the fuck talks like that? It's hard to imagine Helen in that situation. And then she said she needed to go to the bathroom. What do you mean it's hard to imagine? That tart was fucking drunk and she had wanted it for weeks. Oh. I went with her and she got all nervous, told me to go and then I- and then left. I fucking had condoms, man. It was going to be fun and we were both into it. Well, obviously she wasn't. What the hell do you mean? You weren't there, so shut up, you- So shut up. You know when they want it. I bet you see it in Melissa's eyes too. They're such good friends. Oh. Oh, Sebastian. Hey, calm down. Don't involve Melissa in this. You're the one who has a problem, and I think you screwed it up last night with Helen. Yeah, I screwed it up, and that's the only thing I screwed up, because that slut didn't want to finish what she started. You and your stupid girlfriend can fuck off too. I bet you don't even screw her, you faggot. Melissa and Helen spent the whole day whispering behind my back, but wouldn't talk to me. I'm sure you know what they're up to, Mr. Meddler. Sebastian, fuck you. Oh, what a dick. She was dressed for sex. She was cock teasing me. Okay. Cock teasing you is one thing. Saying it's going to be fun and leaving hints and all that kind of stuff is one thing. Maybe she did want it. Maybe she did want to have sex with you. Maybe she didn't want more than just whatever. But that does not mean that she has to follow through with it. You don't have to go through with that stuff. You can have second thoughts and then not do it. Just because you're too much of a douchebag to think about to think with anything but your dick does not mean that she owes you anything. Sure, I mean, sure you can get built up and get frustrated. Hormones in guys at that age, whatever. But that does not give you any sort of excuse to be an absolute asshole to people. You should respect wishes. If it's going to happen, it'll happen. Doesn't mean you have to force it that night. Oh yeah, you brought condoms. Good for you, dude. Fucking A1. I mean, yeah, you're being smart and you're being safe and you're being protected and everything. That's a good initiative. But if you're bringing the condoms for the sole reason that you really think you're going to have sex and then be an absolute dickhead about it afterwards, then no, fuck you. I'm sorry. I get very, I get very up about this. I had some friends who were like that when I was a teenager and had no respect for anything and it just pisses me off. <laughs> anyway, that was a fun one to read. We learned more about Sebastian. Uh, oh, he didn't say the new number thing on this one. Hi, so are you joining us this weekend? Have you got your parents' permission? Yes, I've got permission from my mom for a book festival. I'll call to chat about details. Oh, he wasn't going to a book festival. A book festival? That's a good one. The most important thing is that you can come. Indeed. It was an awesome weekend. Thanks a bunch for pushing me to come. Glad you could join us. I wonder what that was about. Uh, who are we talking to? Helen. Helen, reply as soon as you see this message. Thanks. Hi Sam, I'm here, not doing much. Are you okay? Yes, why? I've just been texting with Sebastian and he told me about the party last Friday. I wanted to know if you were okay. Don't even mention his name, okay? I don't know what he's told you and I don't give a shit. Well, I just may want to make sure he didn't hurt you or do anything stupid. He seemed to be really furious. He's furious? Him? He can die. And you can fuck off. I didn't expect this from you, Sam. I'm just trying to help. Helen, I'm on your side. I'm trying to be supportive. I'm worried about you. That's why I'm messaging you. Sorry, Sam. The bastard made me feel like shit. There we go. He was like a gentleman at the beginning of the night, but he became unbearable as soon as he got drunk, making comments and touching me everywhere and holding me tight while dancing. I was feeling uncomfortable, but I didn't want to say anything. It was supposed to be a great night. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Was he just nice because he wanted to get in your pants? Because that's not cool. Be nice for the sake of being nice. Don't- And that's just in any walk of life. Don't be nice to people because you think you're going to get something out of it. Just be nice to people because it's- That's the decent, humane thing to do. Be nice to people 
just because you want to treat them like people. Man, people piss me off sometimes. Sorry to hear you made you feel like that. Then I had enough, so I lied and said I had to go to the bathroom, but I wanted to leave. He said he was going to the toilet too and came with me, but he came into the ladies' toilet and then grabbed my arm, started kissing me and pushing me to one of the stalls. That must have been a terrible moment, I'm sorry. Thanks, Sam. Fortunately, we heard someone come into the restroom and that made him stop. He was drunk, so I was able to push him to one side and escape. If you have to write terms like escape and push him to the side, that's when you know shit's not right. I picked up my stuff and left. I don't know if he was caught or what happened behind me. I was scared and just wanted to get away. Were you okay after that? Did you make it home safely? I was a bit drunk, just buzzed, but I came home okay. I felt terrible. I probably triggered that situation. It was my fault after all. What? No, no, wait, what makes you say that? I came home early and my dad was awake. I was very embarrassed, but he asked what's the matter, so I said a guy had been molesting me the whole night and tried to touch me and grope my ass in a corner. Well, at least you didn't lie about what was actually going on. And he said, well, I told you that dress was too much and now you're upset? You should have been more careful. Oh! What the fuck is wrong with your dad? What is wrong with the men in your life? Listen, Helen, you are not responsible for what happened and you shouldn't feel ashamed, okay? Did you ask anyone else for help? Melissa? No! Please don't tell her anything. I don't want to talk to her about th talk about this with anyone. Please, it's too much. She'll comfort you, I'm sure. Don't be afraid. I think she'll understand and can be able and be able to help you better than I can. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate you listening. Most guys would laugh at me if they knew what happened. I already feel a tiny little bit less awful after talking to you. I've got to go now. Thanks again. You can count on me, but you really should talk to Melissa too. I'm sure she'll be able to help. Sam, you're a good guy. What a fucking hero. Man, that was the most fucked up one so far. Sebastian and her? Because the sad thing is, this happens all the time. Constantly. You go to parties and then one thing leads to another. People expect things. Other people... <sighs> I don't know. That situation, situation pissed me off. Because I don't have any friends who've been into anything. Or I don't have any experience with this level of it firsthand, but kind of in that regard when I was younger and teenage and going to discos and clubs and that kind of stuff, so I definitely get the mentality that's going around in that kind of atmosphere. Um, I don't know, it's hard to think back about my state of mentality back then because all I can really know is the last couple of years about myself. Um, not to say, I was I was a decent guy when I was that age. Not to say that I was in that situation or anything like that. It's just, I know people. Um, I just can't remember how I reacted to it, but... These days, listening to those stories pisses me off so much, because... If any of you are in Helen's situation... Well, if you're in Sebastian's situation, do not do that. That is a douchebag asshole thing to do, and... I know alcohol can get involved and hormones can flare up and everything, but please have the moral clout to just have some sort of clarity in that situation to be like, no, I'm being an absolute asshole right now. Don't be that guy. Don't do that. Because that can lead to a lot of stuff that leads to some very messed up situations. Um, and if you're in Helen's situation, you do not need to feel responsible for it. I know you might feel and think that it's your fault because of the way you dressed. The way you dress is never an excuse for what other people do to you. Sure, you can wear something that's a bit more revealing, but that does not give anybody else the right to do whatever they want to you. That's a fucked up type of mentality, so do not think that way about yourself. Um, and there's always going to be somebody out there who will listen to you. Her... Sebastian was an asshole and her dad was a big douchebag when she came home about that saying about her Like can you really be surprised kind of stuff? There are people out there who will listen to your side of things and be on your side and you are not responsible So I could talk about this stuff all day, but I'm gonna leave it at that So we have more messages to get through. Hey Sam, I asked Harry for your number I was thinking my parents are a bit anxious about next Saturday. They don't like me going there with people They don't know. Do you think I could tell them to contact your parents so they'll calm down like, don't worry, your daughter is in safe hands with Sam around. I know they freak out over s nothing. Sorry, I don't think so. They don't know where I'm going this weekend. I told my mother I was going to a book festival. 
Shit. So you just lied to your mom? Your situation is even worse than I thought. Oh well. Hope to see you on Saturday. I hope so too. I wonder where they did go. Uh, hey. Oh, this is Lola. Could you bring back that game from last week? Can't remember the name. The one with the mice. Okay. Shit, what was it called? I can't remember. Your mom's cakes are so good. She's so nice to bake them for us every time. Oh, thanks. I'll tell her. You truly are a monster. I'm so disgusted that I've discovered your true face today. Don't ever set foot back in this club or I'll have to tell your little secret to everybody. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh. Did I do something or is it like a coming out type of situation and Lola just doesn't understand that? Okay. Oh my god, Mr. Kaplan is friends with Peter Norgard. Are you talking about Jeff Kaplan? Hero of Overwatch development? I fucking love Jeff Kaplan. What? Our music theory teacher? With Norgard, the orchestra director? No, Norgard, the TV chef. Of course it's a director! And not only that, I heard he showed up at our last concert. Do you think he would have wasted his time like that? Ha! Funny it's you saying that. You were the best of all of us. Oh, shucks. I can already see him, totally impressed by Sam, the virtuoso. And then calling your parents and taking you with him to his orchestra. Hey, I'll be 18 soon. I don't need my parents' permission to sign contracts and stuff. <laughs> I didn't know you were one year older than me. I didn't know you were one year younger than me. XD. LOL XD. Okay. I heard your friend Alice likes Thomas. Did she tell you anything? Is she a nice girl? What? She's great, but she would have told me. Who told you that? Oops. Forget it. Maybe I'm wrong. No way. Who told you that? Ah, this is where it's all coming out because the gossip was coming like between Anne, Lola, all these different types of people. Thanks for letting me know, Nico. Good. See you on Sunday. Last message. Cool. Okay, so I have nothing from Eric. Alright, so we got through all the messages. Lovebirds. Sam thing, Sam thing else. Offline, login, all available. Okay, I need to get the... No internet. I need to get the fucking, the Wi-Fi password. Calendar. Dentist. Tio Raymond, museum trip, movie with Alice, my 18th party, wait, dance appointment, museum trip, that's not the one that we were talking about, dad's birthday, party with Melissa, movie with Melissa, book club, none of these are like the actual thing, are they? Okay. Wait. Weather. Other registered cities. Here we go. Wait, Melrin's not there? Oh, Melrin zip code. 29064. Okay. Uh, 29064. Boom. We have connection. Okay, now we can start going into... It's 11 degrees Celsius. And light rain. Um, calendar didn't update or anything. Oh, there's a password. Okay, maybe that's in my emails. Okay, I don't care about the fucking bank. Alice, still sick. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of fucking emails. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave this episode here. Sorry to leave you on a little bit of a teaser, but I, I've been doing this for like an hour now, so I don't, I don't want it to get too long. I want people to stay invested and stay interested in it instead of tuning off because I think this is gonna have a really great outcome. I think that this is gonna happen. I have a, a theory in my head of what's actually gonna be going on, but I don't want to say it right now because I don't know. It'll be fun. We'll see if it actually happens. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, Punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And my voice all out. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Gotta 
ourselves a bit of country music going on. Y'all like this? <laughs> 